What's good, visionaries? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Liberia to the world. Now, if this is your first time here, I do want to urge you to please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share these videos whenever you find it interesting. Uh, and also, if you're the first to comment below, I'm going to highlight your, con your comment and keep it on the top uh, just to recognize you. I do want to say thank you to all of our existing subscribers and our returning subscribers. Um, you guys keep the channel going and growing. Appreciate that. And once again, if you're new here, this is Liberia to the world. Everything Liberia, cultural, economic, tourism, anything uh, that has to do with Liberia, this is the place you find it. Um, now, it's about to be that time of the year, again, where we see an influx of Liberians going to Liberia. This year, just like any other year, will be a lot of new Liberians going to Liberia. When I say new Liberians, I'm just saying Liberians who are going back for the first time after so many years, either from the since they got here to America or it's been, let's say, over, over 5 to 10 years, 15, 20 years. Now, let's answer the age-old question. It's a question that comes every year. It's a question I think is relevant every year, especially during that peak season of when Liberians go back home or non-Liberians are visiting Liberia for the first time. Is Liberia safe? In this video, I'll go over my opinion, what I think the country is. I also will go over some statistics and facts. Let's get right into it. So let's talk about it, right? Number one, is Liberia safe? First, I'll prefix right away. I believe Liberia is one of the safest countries in Africa, in West Africa as a whole. Now, the narrative of Liberia being unsafe is out there. We know that, we see it on social media. When something happens, and again, this is probably my third video I'm making on this, bad news spread faster. So people tend to really zone and focus on that. I have a tunnel vision on the safety parameters of Liberia, right? People just think the country is completely unsafe and it's just a bad idea to go there or to move or visit and things like that. And I, I feel the opposite. Now, this is not to say there isn't crime in Liberia. Just like any country on earth, right? Crime is in Liberia. The crime is pretty much concentrated in certain areas. Um, other, other kind of crime that happens in Liberia are more personal, right? In other areas, maybe a person that's close to you, a family member or something like that, uh, disagreement or maybe uh, jealousy or spousal. Uh, 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 disagreement, things like that, right? Those things happen in other areas. When it comes to crime uh, in Liberia, I've said this in the past, I'll say this again. There are mainly petty crimes that happens in Liberia, right? There are some crimes that will happen where people will get robbed and things like that. I still consider those petty crime. Let me say this. First, let me say this. Liberia is right around number 38, 39 on the uh, like the crime index in Liberia. So we're way down compared, like, I mean, imagine that, right? All in the 30s compared to other countries from the number one to 10 most unsafe countries in Africa. Liberia is way down. All right, so let's take a look at this. As you can see, Liberia is not even the top five unsafe country, not a top 10 unsafe, not the top three unsafe. You can see all those countries that are in there with the higher crime index. Uh, not the top 25, um, and then if you go down a little bit, I uh, think not even the top 30. There we are, about let's say 35, 34 or so on the, on the bottom. There with a 5.05 uh, index for the crime. So the higher the index, um, the higher the crime rate. So, <clears throat> like I mentioned, uh, most of the crimes in Liberia are crimes of opportunity. Meaning just wrong place, wrong time, petty crime, Zogo, stealing phones, you know, like I said, things like that. There may be some more serious crimes every now and then, but compared to other countries that have more organized crime, more resources, Liberia is way on the bottom. And like you can see here, the top five and the top ten. It's not about putting other countries down and things like that, but other countries, are, first of all, they're a lot, a lot bigger. They have a lot more resources to commit more organized crime. When I say organized crime, I'm talking about... Uh, hijacking. I'm talking about uh, like a serious bank robbery. I'm talking about hostage takeover. I'm talking about people going around, uh, an organized crime going around and, and taking hostage an entire village or an entire group of people and, and for ransom or killing them or whatever it is. Those things don't happen in Liberia. Every now and then there will be a mysterious death that happened in the country. 
every now and then, um, you know, people will complain about, let's say, getting robbed or stuff like that with, with knives once in a while. Uh, you barely hear people getting shot all over the place. You barely hear people getting hijacked and, and, and things like that in Liberia. It's petty crime. And, and it's concentrated in certain areas and it's easy to avoid. So I'm saying this to say, again, this is uh, for those who are going to Liberia this year. Next year, those who are thinking about the safety in Liberia, I will say Liberia is fairly safe compared to any other country in West Africa or Africa as a whole, right? And again, it's easy, not easy per se, but it's you can avoid uh, putting yourself in a situation where you'll be at risk, right? So let's go over a few. One is traveling alone. Now, again, for those of you who go to Liberia every year, you know this. If it's your first time, just a reminder. Even if you've been there every time, just a reminder. Just avoid traveling alone. So if you're going places, uh, mostly like the suburbs area or like the urban area in Liberia, I should say, um, certain cities, uh, just avoid going there by yourself or, um, you know, or maybe flashing things and showing what you have. And especially if you're from, from, from the States, uh, people will know uh, just kind of being humble and stuff like that and not being disrespectful to people. Um, that's number one, right? Number two will be uh, just avoiding anything that you feel like is suspicious, right? Hang out with people that you know, eat from places that you know. Um, let's talk about another thing. Let's shift gear a little bit and talk about right now, economically, and those who are looking to transition. A lot of us are transitioning into Liberia. A lot of people are moving to Liberia. And the video I've made on this, it's a lot, right? And I keep making these kind of videos again, which um, I, th I find it very necessary. And these kind of videos are always relevant. Talking about uh, best investments in Liberia and, and how to really make it in Liberia and get the best out of the, the opportunities in Liberia. And it's always in the business sector, right? And in part of the world, the business sector is what makes people rich. You know, it's just, it's just fact, right? So in Liberia, here's what I recommend, man. If you are looking to make money in Liberia now, the best way to build wealth in Liberia more than anything else are three things is real estate, agriculture, and um, construction, right? Construction and real estate ties a little bit, but those three categories will make you wealthy in Liberia over the next 10 years. I, I'm telling you that. The statistics shows that, right? The influx, and you can feel it, you can hear it. The amount of people who are moving to Liberia, to Africa as a whole, uh, people who are relocating. A lot of people, a lot of us are getting tired of the Western world. It's, it's a rat race, right? It, it, you, you get into it, you pay high taxes, you make your money, you don't see it, you pay your, your swamp with bills and bills. We go through the season changes. This animation shows another thing that most Africans are trying to escape. And that is the rat race, the routine. Now, there's nothing wrong with routine. There's nothing wrong with this animation. But after a while, a person feels like, you know what? I do want to go home and relax. I do want to go home, open a business and live a more simple life. As compared to what you're looking at here in this animation, you woke up in the morning, you hit your alarm, brush your teeth, make breakfast, go to work, come home sit down for a few hours, go to bed, go back to work, to come back home, drink a beer, go to work, come back home, same thing over and over and over, never ending. So more and more Africans, more and more people as a whole are trying to live a more different life. There's more to life than this. Again, nothing wrong with this if this is what you're doing. However, we all know we will one day want to leave this rat race and live a more simple and peaceful life. Have a nice business back home, you're established back home, and you're there, right? And and life is great. So most people are doing that. Everybody who I talk to, people who email me, all of those things, that's what is happening right now. Now, when you go to Liberia, when you move to Liberia, you need to keep it going. You need to build wealth. You need to keep a legacy. You need to have something going on. Now, these three categories will be your best. Let's start with agriculture first. Now, imagine the amount of land that are in Liberia. It's a vast amount of land. I talk about land that's getting scarce in Liberia, but I'm talking about mainly in the city, livable land. I'm not talking about lands for other means, right? Like farming and uh, 
maybe Miami and things like that, right? There are a lot of land in Liberia for cheap that you can get way outside of the city. So things like agriculture, for some reason, Liberia imports a lot of her goods, her products, her produce, as you say, right, from outside of the country. Things like fish, things like uh, 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 sometimes palm oil, um, other fruits and other things that could be packaged and, and made in Liberia and shipped out and supply even other countries, right, or even Liberia itself. So agriculture is a big avenue where people, and I see a lot of people are jumping on it now, which is great, but the, st the number is still very little. So agriculture is a big part. Now, you can buy 10 acres of land, 30 acres of land right now for a good amount of money and start your farming. You go to Liberia when you move there or you, you're transitioning there. That's a good business to have and manage and, and, and kind of build, build, build legacy, build, build wealth that way, right? Especially if you do it right. Now, of course, the number one thing all over the world, even including Liberia, is real estate. Investing in real estate is the best way to build wealth in any part of the world, and especially in Liberia at this time. Now, a lot of us are building, a lot of you guys are building your own personal homes, building in houses to live in, you're building your big dream home, you're taking years and years to, to build that home, to furnish that home, you're going through hit, uh, headaches here and there, um, you know, you gotta come up with money, the project is going, it stops. Let's give for example, our project we're working on, our estate, vision estate, right? The homes are basically almost all sold out, but people who are buying it are people who are doing their own projects in Liberia. But these people are thinking smart, right? They're like, hey, let's get a home in an estate. These homes are very affordable. Let's get a home in an estate, get one from Vision Estate, get in there, live in there, and then slowly be building our dream home because that way we're living there. Let's say it takes five years, three years to build a dream home whilst they're living in Liberia. Now, the home they bought, for example, Vision Estate, now can be put on the market for, that's another business source. You already have a business at that point when you're in Liberia. When you move to your new home that you completed, that you, your, your dream home, you already have a business already on ground, which is that home that you can use as an Airbnb, you can use as a rental, short-term rental and things like that. And it's, that, it's gonna be at a higher price because it's in the gated community, it's the, the, the value of it is more, it's gonna be sought after more, people who are coming, down are gonna rent it more because of the, the whole, the environment is in the fence, um, it, it have pool, the whole compound, just 24 hour security. More people are gonna rent that than just random homes outside somewhere. So you already have a business before you move to your dream home. So that's what I recommend. If you're building your dream home, maybe it's gonna take you 200,000, 150, $250,000, big dream home. Don't do that whilst you're still living abroad. I know people do that because they gotta be doing this slowly and sending money. You can easily just get a save money, save your money that way. Maybe put it into some investments, IRA, whatever it is, and have it be growing whilst you're saving it. Take a little bit of it and buy a smaller home, like for instance, one of our homes or anybody else who is selling homes outside of the uh, in, in Liberia that are reputable. Buy one of those homes move back while you're living in Liberia and now you start building your project. That way you're there, you're overseeing things, right? And then when that's done, you can move in there and you already have an established business where you were living. That home value has grown, the environment has uh, uh, been developed. So now the, your property value has increased and you already have an established business when you move to your home. So real estate is one of the biggest avenue of building wealth in Liberia, and that's one great way to do it. Right now you already own a building. Let's say you bought one in Vision Estate. You already own that building. That's an asset to you. Because you notice Liberia, you're not paying all kind of taxes here and there and this, all that stuff. You own your home, you own your home, complete, right? And that's an asset. In your portfolio, you can resell. It's gonna definitely sell at a higher price, or you can use as a, a business, an Airbnb and stuff like that. So that's a great way to start. We just need to start thinking about things that way, right? When we're moving to Liberia and we're transitioning. We're, most of us are just doing things emotionally based. We think about home, we wanna go home. We put our emotion there. We're not stopping and thinking back and saying, let me think this rationally and say, okay, what's the best way? What's, the, what's my option? What is the best avenue? We're just sending money back home quick, 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 quick to build a house because we wanna own the structure back home. We wanna tell our family and friends that we have a house back home. We want to move back to want to go back to Liberia and live in our own home and things like that. But 
that's doesn't that's that's, that's not always the right way and method to do it, right? So let's think about it differently. Again, reach out to me, guys. I've been helping a lot of people go through this process. Again, part of our company, the Vision Group, we have a consulting company in Liberia. We help people with all of this, either their move, establishing their business, helping to open their business, establishing their company, doing market research, uh, kind of suggesting to them what kind of business, or at least giving more in-depth analysis on whatever business they're thinking of opening in Liberia. We do that for you. So let us know. I, I'll be more than happy to do that for you, um, consult with you, whatever my colleagues can and things like that. But outside of that, like I said, guys, let's think about things a little differently. Consider what can really build your wealth in Liberia and start thinking about that, establishing your footprint to make that move and leave that legacy. But there it is, guys. So again, just as a recap, I want to say Liberia is definitely a safe place to be, a safe country. Um, most people in Liberia don't want what our mind think about we as Liberian, right? We know the trauma we've been through. The, a lot of the people in Liberia is now Liberia now are youth. They're they're not driven by that anymore. They're, 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 the internet has made the world so small. So they're seeing what out there. That's what they want. They don't want any drama, war, all of that stuff. They want to live soft life. They want to enjoy. They want to, they have their big dreams. They want to have their goals. They have their business idea. They want to see come to fruition. So um, they, we still have those middle aged those people who are in a war before, who have that war mentality, aggression, aggression, things like that. But I don't see that coming to fruition. I just think, you know, every now and then, of course, because we're so emotionally driven when it comes to partisanship, people will do rah, rah here and there and things like that and make some commotion. Um, but other than that, man, Liberia is safe. Again, when I say safe, I'm not saying just go be careless. Just like anywhere in Africa, anywhere in the world, just watch your surrounding, watch your back. Don't invite unnecessary people. Uh, don't go places that you're not supposed to go at certain times. Travel in pairs and groups and stuff like that. And just be aware of your surroundings. This is as simple as that. And you'll be just fine. I don't feel safe anywhere else than when I'm in Liberia. I feel very safe. And that's the same for anybody. People who haven't even been, people who are not even Liberia will tell you they feel very safe in Liberia. Secondly, real estate. Real estate, real estate, real estate in Liberia is the best way to go. And I'm not just talking about building your own home only. I'm talking about investing into other properties, buying up homes in estates, using it as an investment property, as Airbnb, or building commercial property yourself. You build some commercial properties, start thinking about building some malls, shopping centers, and things like that, uh, office buildings, and all of those things. That's where the country is going now, right? So when I say real estate, that's what I'm talking about. Of course, go ahead and build your own home where you can lay your head and be at peace, but also think about investing in other ways. But there it is, guys.